This is good. You want it, you want it to be easily well, do you, posed. What do you think about the gauntlets oh, right I'm gonna here? knock the girl over. Oh my god. That's so they sculpted it on. Snazzy. I like that. And Good everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it with another two-in-one WWE Elite action figure review from Mattel. And today we are looking at the brand new WWE Elite Series 79 Roman Reigns and Io Shirai. First time in the line for Io and about 115 times for Roman Reigns. Now coming into this set, you know when this set first arrived at my door, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to get the new Kevin Owens. And my stupid idiot self didn't think that Kevin Owens was in Elite Series 80. He's actually in Elite Series 80. I thought he was in 79, so that was kind of disappointing, but we still got a pretty cool set. We do have some re-releases, which we'll get into and everything, but let's dive into the review, guys. You do have your front viewing windows of both here. On the sides of the packaging, you, of course, have the beautiful Roman and the beautiful EO over here. On the back, you get the same exact images as well as some bio reads. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it right now. You also have the rest of the figures in the wave. A lot of them we've seen before besides EO Shirai. Another image of the two in their ring gear here, and that is pretty much it for our packaging packaging on this, guys. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack Io Shirai and the big dog, the MDT champion, I should add, out of their packaging. Alright guys, so here's Roman Reigns and Io Shirai out of their packaging, and I'm actually pretty John Brown impressed with these. I'm actually very excited that I decided to review these first. I did Io Shirai first because she is the first time in the line. You know, we haven't seen a figure of her before, and I know a lot of people were hyped for this figure, and then the big dog, you know he's the big dog. He's the MDT champion. He's the Universal champion. He's the big dog. He gets he gets dips. He gets priority, right? So, let me know down below which figures you'd like to see reviewed next, but you guys know how the reviews work. We're gonna run through Io Shirai's accessories, and then Io Shirai, and and then we're going to run that thing back and take a closer look at Roman Reigns' accessories and then Roman Reigns. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into EO's accessories right now. So for EO Shirai's accessories, guys, I think the main thing that everybody is excited about is this beautiful cloth jacket right here. And it does have the same shimmer, the same feel as maybe Dolph Ziggler's jacket from Elite Series 70. It also has the same feel as Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura. But it feels really, really good. I like the feel of it. It has like a pleathery or like a leathery type look. It has the sheen to it like leather. You guys can see here it has all the Japanese characters going down the back of the hoodie. Then you have like this flag stripe pattern going on with like some crosses and stuff. Plenty of, ja I don't know what all that means. I don't speak Japanese. If you guys know Japanese you guys can let me know what it says there. It does also have these ties that come off of it with the same type lettering on there. You have some studded like designs going down the back of the sleeves. And then you have like this faux fur here that is a fake fur and it feels fantastic. It feels really really good and uh, we'll, we'll take a closer look at what this looks like on the figure in a few moments but I think that this is a very nice piece. It does have these little thingies in here. Get the hell out of here. But this is excellent. This is quality. This is what we like to see. And you can't get any better than that, man. That This is the kind of things that collectors love to see. You can pose this thing around. You can use this. And you may be able to cut the sleeves off and put it on a male figure, maybe. Who, who the hell knows? Maybe for a pick fed or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you could use it for Shinsuke. It'd probably be a little small, but I don't know. It may look badassery. We'll just have to see about that. But that is an excellent accessory. I cannot... Hats off to Mattel for this. This is absolutely absolutely beautiful and then out of the packaging she does come with her signature hands and I'm not exactly sure what this is it almost looks like trigger fingers you guys can see there it's like her she has her hand gauntlet deals and in, in like a silver color with some nice texturing it is sculpted on there and it's kind of like two trigger fingers here I'm not sure if that's her entrance hand or what that is if you guys can let me know down below but it's not standing out to me right now and then she also has mic holding hands which are always nice you always love to see mic holding hands and I did not get two of the same hand I did get opposite hands there and on this side I did get opposite hands again, so we love to see that. But there are the interchangeable hands, and there is the accessory coat for Io Shirai. So that being said, guys, let's dive into Io herself. So getting into Io Shirai's first figure, guys, starting out with the head sculpt here. Now, I don't think this is a terrible head sculpt. I do hate that she's looking off to the left or something. I would prefer her be looking straight on. I'm not a big fan of head sculpts that look off to the left or right. I feel like they work a lot better when they look straight forward. But I think the likeness is there. I love the hair. I like the hair sculpt. I like how soft the material is and the hair color is really really nice going down into the chest area you do have her top here that does have like a silver panel right here in the middle it does have like a little green dot right there a little green slash mark which i don't appreciate don't know how i'll fix that but i may not i may just leave it build a bridge get over it you know what i'm saying but you do get this nice green streaks going on here on the top you got it coming down the sides as well nice sculpt going on right here i do believe this is a new torso mold if i'm not mistaken she also has like her choker deal going around the top her attire kind of reminds me of like mortal Kombat or something i don't know you guys can let me know 
know, but you do have nice sculpting down the back here. Great details here. Green tying in there. I like the lime green accents that we get on here. The skin tone doesn't look bad either. It all matches all up. You do have single jointed arms, which does suck, but she's not Ultimate Edition, so what are you going to do about it? Here's something I found really interesting. She has like these wrist gauntlets on here, and if you pop the hands off, you could actually remove these, which is really interesting. It's like this rubber material, and they're actually kind of difficult to get on, but you could remove these, and they're like these nice rubber wrist gauntlets that wrap around her arm. I thought that was really interesting and cool, so I, I've never seen anything like that on any other women's figure, so the details are definitely coming together on this figure. Going down into the rest of it on the crotch, you get some nice sculpted again. You got the green lines down the sides. You do get upper thigh cut. You got all this nice green paneling going on with it. She does have double jointed knees, which is always amazing. The updated women's figures always do, and then you do have nice boot rotation right here. I love this sculpt right here. This is all sculpted like these strings that go to the front of her shins right there, and then on her boots. Boots at the bottom right here, you guys can see right there. This does rotate at the calf. It's not exactly, you know, it's not two different cuts there, but she does have ankle pivot, which makes me think that they're listening. Are they listening? Are we finally getting ankle pivot on our women's figures? I've been calling for this. Here it is. Mattel, if you're listening, I appreciate it. Do this with every women's figure. That's absolutely beautiful. We love you. But that pretty much does it for your EO Shirai figure, man. Feels really, really good in the hand. I like this a lot. I like the way she poses around. A lot of great articulation on this woman. There is a slight little gap right here, but it's not like the biggest deal. I tried to push it in. I may try a little bit harder with some hot water or something later on, but I am very impressed with this EO Shirai Elite 79 WWE Elite. But let's dive into some EO Shirai Elite figure comparisons. So for your EO Shirai Elite figure comparisons, guys, here we have her with some rest of our WWE Elite women's talent. You have Alexa Bliss, Elite 73 Kyrie Sane, Elite 76 Lacey Evans, and then we have the Network Spotlight Asuka. Very nice. She fits in well with them. I like the height comparison between all of these. The women's collection is definitely coming together with these double jointed knees. I know not all of these do, but I think Alexa is the only one that doesn't, and they're coming together, man. I can't wait for Ultimate Edition Charlotte, uh, uh, Bailey, Elite 80. I mean, we're about to have our women's collection on fire. They're going to be able to compete with the men, which is why I am finally bringing the women's division to the MDT pick fed. So that is absolutely beautiful to see. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for your EO Shirai Elite figure comparison. So let's dive into the big dog, the MDT champion, Roman Reigns. So for the Big Dog's accessories, guys, you actually get some pretty good-ish right here. Starting out first, we do have the Universal Championship, which is always beautiful to see. This is our uptick time, right? We've seen this so many times before. It does seem to be a lot shinier than the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar version that we've gotten in the past, but I feel like this looks like 90% of our Universal Championships we've gotten before. He also comes with fisted hands, so these are part of his interchangeable hands. You get two fisted hands, one for each side, which is huge for Roman Reigns because why? He does the Superman punch. You love to see this. This is what we love to see. Next up, we do have choke slamming hands. Now, this isn't the biggest deal. Uh, you can still hold a microphone with these, but I would prefer to see Mike holding hands, not the choke slam. So if the, the if the fist could close maybe a little bit more to like maybe like this or like that instead of like you know clawing somebody or or choke slamming somebody, that would be really nice to see. But you do get the mic holding slash choke slam hands, and then of course you do have the hang loose hands, is what I like to call them. So you know you can hang loose. You got the Samoan style hang loose right there which is what you always love to see. Indeed. It just reminds me of Hawaii and surfing. So yeah, you get you get those hands as well. But outside of interchangeable hands, guys, we also get interchangeable head sculpts. So the first one we get is the man bun slash promo attire Roman Reigns right here with the smile. It definitely looks just like Roman. You know, it's not his smile that he has right now, but this is like, I'm kind of calling this the ultimate Roman Reigns because you get the, you know, the wrestle gear, you get the promo gear, you get all those different interchangeable hands. And then I'll explain another reason why I call it that here in a little bit, but you do get the two different interchangeable head sculpts. And if you guys want to see what this looks like on the figure like you guys saw before, you're going to take the figure and just pop it on the figure like so. I do thumb on the chin and then push down. And it goes on like that if you guys want to see that. And then when you want to remove it, you just pop it off. And you go over to your other head sculpt. You'll put it over the peg. Thumb on the chin. Push down. And there you go. So you get the two different options there. Both of them look good. They are repeat head sculpts, which we've seen on Basics before. We have seen the ponytail head sculpt. And I think this is the same head sculpt we got with the Elite 62 Roman Reigns. So there is that. But that does it for your Roman Reigns accessories, guys. Let's dive into the big dog himself. So getting into the big dog, guys, I don't think we really need to take too much time on this head sculpt because I think it definitely looks like Roman Reigns or at least the old Roman Reigns with his older smile. He did obviously get veneers. We saw him the return at SummerSlam where he attacked the Fiend to eventually win the Blue Universal Championship. So this is pretty nice to see. You love to see this. It is a nice head sculpt. Obviously now he does have the side shave right here, but I like this 
ponytail head sculpt. We are going to compare it in the next segment of the video to see if they shrunk it down because I have complained about that in the past. We'll see if it has shrunk down any comparing it to a basic figure. Now going into the vest, I don't think this is a new sculpt. I think we saw this with the top talents Roman Reigns and the Elite 68 Roman Reigns. We will do a comparison shot of that in the next segment, but it does look good. You got the nice dog decal on there. You also have the Roman Reigns logo on the back. It does have the gold lines and stuff. So this is our third gold Roman Reigns, right? We had the network spotlight from like 2016, 17, and then we did have the Elite 62 figure, which was very similar to this. And then we have now this version, which is very nice indeed. On the shoulder, you will notice the tattoo does completely cover the shoulder, which is absolutely wonderful. We love to see that. That is what we like to see. We don't want gaps. They did an excellent job on that. I'm interested to know, does he actually have the updated tattoo? Did he have the tattoo at this point? He may not have had the tattoo at this point. Yeah, I don't think he had the tattoo at this point. So I think he does have like a new tattoo that covers like almost half his back right here or all, pretty much his full uh, right side of his back right here. So they don't have that just yet. I don't think he had it at the time of wearing this attire. So I'm not going to blame them for that, but I do expect that to be on maybe his next Elite. But the sleeve tattoo looks absolutely great. I think they did a great job. There's no gaps or nothing like that. Like in real life, it matches Roman. This is something that's very new on the Roman Reigns figure. So if you remove this, guys, his gauntlets are removable. How freaking excellent. This is another reason why I call this the ultimate Roman Reigns because you can make him a promo attire really, really easily by sliding off these gauntlets. Used to be they were painted on. Now they've sculpted them. They have some paint detail on here. I do want to get in here and see exactly what these look like. So you got some Roman Reigns. You got the Roman Reigns logo, the little dog, and then you have the gold itched on there, but it has nice sculpt, man. It kind of reminds me of like the toy you buy from Walmart, you know, where you put the glove on and, you know, they used to sell the Spider the Spider-Man web shooter and then you got, you know, it Roman Reigns glove I think they even sold. So this is sick, man. I really like this a lot. Really great job. I'm really excited that Mattel decided to do this. I think it adds detail to the figure. It also just it creates some realism. You can take them off. You can do some really cool photography with that. And the other side is the same exact thing, except it does say Roman Reigns and it has the same gold stripes on there. Really great job. Ha ha hands down, uh, this is a great Roman figure. This is why I I'd probably call this the best Roman to date. Maybe not the best attire, but as far as like the accessories and the interchangeability of it and things that you can do with it, the tattoo, all of that intertwined. I mean, this is a really strong figure, man. You also have his regular waist down shield, legs, crotch, boots, and uh, that pretty much does it for the Roman figure, man. But what a great figure. I really like all the details and the interchangeable stuff with it, but let's get into some Roman Reigns elite figure comparisons. Alright guys, so for your Roman Reigns Elite figure comparisons, you will see the brand new Elite 79 in the middle. You have the Elite 68, you have the Elite 62, and then you have two basics here. And the only thing that annoys the hell out of me is you guys can see the head sculpts on Elite 62 and 68, and this is a re-release of the Top Talents. Top Talents was the exact same way. These three figures have the exact same head sculpt. You can say this is the ponytail head sculpt, but if you interchange it, the one that it actually comes with, the little interchangeable one, good God in heaven, I didn't like that noise. But if we put the interchangeable head sculpt on here, so you guys can see... All three, oh my god. So you guys can see all three of these figures have the exact same head sculpt even though they're like 10 to 15 series apart. 62, 68, 79, all three of the exact same head sculpt. So we definitely need a brand new Roman Reigns head sculpt. You do have this version which is the same head sculpt but it does have the beard going all the way up to the jaw which is very nice to see. But then when you compare the sizes of this, you remember I was complaining saying the basic head is too big. I think that it is pretty much the exact same size. I don't think I see a change in it at all here. And I'm also finding that I feel like the uh, the ponytail head sculpt sits better on the brand new Elite than this head sculpt does. Doesn't it just kind of seem like the head's sitting a little bit high? So I don't know. Maybe you could like, maybe if you took an X-Acto knife and cut open the hole a little bit more, it would probably fit better. Or if you heated it up, it may go on easier. So you definitely want to be careful when you're interchanging those head sculpts. Just something to note right there. But that is your difference in all the Elites. I mean, they're basically the same. You do get the removable gauntlets, which is super nice, and the interchangeable head sculpts of his last two basics, pretty much. And you do get a new vest, which probably is I feel like this vest and this vest may be slightly better than this, even though I like the dog decal, but I don't know. You guys can pick which one you like the most down below, but I do like this one a lot. It has a better tattoo design than this one and this one as well, so there's bonus points. Alright guys, so here is the segment that I'm going to add to my reviews. Not every single time, but I do want to get it, especially when we have a Roman Reigns in the house. I want to see what my wife thinks of the brand new Elite Series 79 Io Shirai and Roman Reigns figures. Alright, well starting off with Roman, I think uh, he looks good, first of all. Second of all, I, I like the I like the movement here. Some of the other ones are a little stiff. This one feels pretty good to me, and uh, it's easy to pose. So for beginners like me, this is good. You want, you want it to be easily what you, posed. What do you think about the gong? 
Oh, that's right. Here. Knock the girl over. Oh my god. What do you think about the see on the older? Oh ones? yes, I see. They're they, painted. Oh, okay, yes. That's so they sculpted it on. Snazzy. I like that. And you can remove them. Oh, removable. I like this. I think this looks way more realistic. Looks better on the arms. What about the tattoo right here? You yes. see how the tattoo doesn't fill up the shoulder, and then the other shoulder it does right there. You see that? Ah, yeah, see, this is what I needed. I needed to be able to compare it. I think this tattoo actually looks better. This one almost looks a little bit faded. This one kind of shows the detail. It's, it goes into the arm, so it's not just cut off because a real tattoo would look horrible if that's what it did. Still need to update the, the new smile. I think he looks handsome, of course. I think it feels good. I think it looks good. I like the uh, feeling of that right there. What is this? I think it feels good. <laughs> like this right there. That's just the back of the vest so they can use I know. Take off. I like the, the textures of the clothes. So the sculpt. Sculpt, okay. I like the sculpt. I think it feels good. I think I like he looks it. good. I think the hair looks good. Got, got some color in the beard. And then the girl, honestly, I, I don't know what to tell you about her. I don't know much about her. Do you think it looks like her? There's her on the back of the packaging. I do. I do think it looks like her. I, I don't I don't know her from, you know, I don't know her. I, haven't, I don't even know who that is, to be honest with you. So I can't really compare it to her real life life version besides that picture right there but uh makeup yep i think they did good getting that glitter eyeshadow in there i'm like way off of my focal points here all right guys so that pretty much does it for face wife's review of the elite 79 roman reigns and io shirai all right well i don't know who io shirai is but roman looks good so we're gonna go with that but I think that about does it for the 2-in-1 Elite Series 79, Roman Reigns and Io Shirai. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Here is what the new Roman Reigns looks like without the red version of the Universal Championship. We have the blue Universal Championship right here. If you guys have a custom title or something, here is the red version over the shoulder right there. And then I do want to grab the MDT Championship so we can see what he looks like there. Now here's what the MDT Championship looks like. Now obviously Roman won't look like this on MDT Live because he doesn't look like this. He dresses with the bloodline and stuff, but I still think that looks pretty damn good. You know, a great looking championship. But anyways, overall thoughts on these figures, guys. If you missed out on Elite 62, Elite 68, any of the top ta the top talents, Roman Reigns elites, you definitely want to track this down. That's why I call it the ultimate. You got the tattoo right. You got these nice gauntlets, nice vest, interchangeable head sculpts. You get the Universal Championship. I know it's not blue, but, yeah, but I enjoy it a lot. I think it's really badassery. I like the Roman Reigns a lot. I'm a lot more impressed with it than I thought I would be. And the Io Shirai is super badass. You guys can see what the fur coat looks like. You know, the hood may be a little bit oversized, but I still think it looks nice. It is a cloth accessory that we always love, so that is nice to see. She has ankle pivot, feels really good in the hand. Definitely a superior women's action figure, especially in the WWE terms. Very, very nice. But if you would like to grab either of these figures, guys, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles and use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go pre-order the new Ringside exclusive Walter. Get in on all their WWE and AEW action figure deals. Tons of great stuff over there. Accessories, play sets, all kinds of stuff. You definitely don't want to miss out on that, so definitely go check out Ringside Collectibles. Huge shout out to them for making the review possible. If you're a big Io Shirai fan or you enjoy women's figures, this is definitely a must cop. It is absolutely fantastic. If you're just a fan of great women's action figures or WWE figures, then the Io Shirai is perfect for you. I think it's going to be up there with some figures of the year, no doubt. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning into the review. Let me know what you think of these figures down below as well as what figures you'd like to see next. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.